Phoenix Splash TV. <laughs> SEGA is shit! Everything they do in recent years is utter crap! They've lost what it means to be in touch with gamers. Sonic games are the definition of terrible. All Sonic can do now is leech off of Mario and its Nintendo counterparts. Nothing about modern SEGA is good, right? A wise man once told me that whenever there's something really bad, it has to be balanced with something good. So what's the goodness of SEGA right now? If there's one opinion that we all share, it's that we miss the golden age of SEGA. The Genesis, the Dreamcast, the SEGA CD. All of that stuff has gained a huge interest over the years because of the retro gamers. And trust me when I say, SEGA is fully aware of that. If you have a 3DS, you are in heaven right now. Over time, SEGA has teamed up with M2 to create some greatness. Remakes of SEGA classics. Remakes that are making all of Nintendo's remakes look pale in comparison. 3D Space Harrier, 3D Super Hang On, and 3D Shinobi have all had their place on eShop's most downloaded titles. It seems that the more they make, the better they get. Today, I'll be talking about a beat-em-up known as 3D Streets of Rage 2. Now, when I heard they released it, it took me a while to get it. Most remakes on the 3DS are basically just ports of the original game. Mario 3 is just Mario 3 with nothing added. But like I mentioned before, M2 don't play that shit. So what is 3D Streets of Rage 2? Well, first off, the graphics get a huge update. Huge! If you ever wondered how Streets of Rage 2 would have been on Neo Geo, this will exceed your wonders. You can switch between playing the Japanese release and the Western release of the game, which is pretty interesting to see. You'll notice details change, like Skate's name. Now, Streets of Rage 2 is a hardcore game, so it's pretty difficult. So M2 added a casual mode, which lets you defeat enemies as soon as they hit the ground. And just for shits and giggles, you can unlock a mode where you kill everyone with one punch. There's a really creative mode called Rage Relay. In this mode, you toggle between each character, which means if you lose a life, the next character will take his or her place. It's a really cool mode that lets you master all of the characters. You can pick their order too, and some characters work better against different enemies too, and so it's pretty useful. You can change the screen back to the original game too, so if you really just wanted a port of the game, it comes with it too. One important option is input settings. You can change the controls. Believe it or not, this is not possible with some of the other games that Nintendo has re-released, so I thought I'd mention that. You can change the 3D style of the game and the emulation, so there's a lot of ways you can play this game. Now the big question, how good is the co-op mode? Well, it cannot go online, but you can play locally with a bud who also has the game. And yes, it's perfect. There's no lag and it plays just as smooth as it could get. But now it's time for the icing on the cake, a trademark of M2. You can record your gameplay. I don't know about anyone else, but I absolutely love the option of recording an awesome playthrough. So if you're a speedrunner, it's a good outlet to practice your craft. Another trademark of M2 is the credits scene. With every one of these remakes, M2 adds an awesome credits movie, which usually involves some funny skits. Streets of Rage 2 is no exception. The credits also hint at Adam from Streets of Rage 1 being unlockable, but as far as I know, he isn't. That would be pretty cool though. Now, what do I think about the game Streets of Rage 2? To me, this was the game Final Fight 2 should have been. It more than doubled the amount of craziness than the first one had. Four selectable characters, each with special moves unique to their own. I'm starting to pick Max now, because Max is the man. Move over, Hagar! To me, Streets of Rage 2 is where the series separated itself from Final Fight. Now don't get me wrong, it does have many similarities to Final Fight, but then it adds Street Fighter elements as well. And I personally think it influenced some of the mechanics that are seen in Final Fight 3. Like I said before, the game is pretty hardcore. It's a lot tougher than I remembered actually. 3 continues, and you can have up to 9 lives. You can't turn off the friendly fire, because that's for pussies. They have a dual mode so you can play head-to-head -head as well. I don't ever play it, but it's there. 
There's eight stages, so it's kind of a little bit long, but M2 gives you a save function, so it's all good, even though it's pretty easy to beat in one sitting. Or die in one sitting. And just in case you're really hardcore, there's a Mania mode. This mode will kill you. Every second is just a barrage of enemies. They kept that terrible cover art of the Genesis, but hey, don't we all have guilty pleasures and enjoy that shit? Also, they kept Yuzo Kishiro's name on the cover of it. That's another thing about this Streets of Rage. I think it's one of Yuzo Kishiro's best works. If you play this, please play it with headphones. I feel like that's the only way to really appreciate the music. And if you find yourself studying for a test or something, you can always go to the sound test and listen to that awesome music. I'm aware that many Sega fans don't have 3DSs, but if you're a fan of Sega and don't really care about 3D, then just buy a cheap 2DS. It has a better controller actually. It's more comfortable on the hands. So what do you guys think about Streets of Rage 2? Do any of y'all hate it or hate this remake? Give your perspective in the comments below. Also, what do you guys think the next video should be about? Do you want to see the controversial Game Analyzers Game Top analyzers, 10 Games of All Time? Or the big debate, Shemnu 1 vs Shemnu 2. Which one's better? Which one's better? Which one's better? Leave that in the comments below. And if you want to join my army to take over the world, subscribe. I'll make sure you get a front row seat. This is Game Analyzer, signing off.